Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I have a product review of this Arduino starter kit from ALS Robot. Welcome back everybody, and first off, if you haven't hit subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates, including more product reviews like this one. Now this is an Arduino starter kit from ALS Robot. It retails for $59.99, and it has a whole lot of stuff in it. It can pretty much get you going on Arduino. So if you've been watching my videos, and you haven't had a chance to pick up an Arduino, this is a great way to get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with an unboxing. Very, very nice packaging here. So you got the ALS Robot Company logo here. And we're gonna go ahead and open her up. And so this is what it comes with first. It comes with an Arduino, um, an infrared sensor, a motor, an LCD uh, single number screen, a breadboard, and a few other electronics. So this is what it starts off with. So let's go ahead and open up the Arduino right here and see what we got. All right, got the Arduino open here. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And that is, it looks a lot like the original, the Arduino from the actual Arduino company. Um, it's very, very similar. It's a very, very good looking clone. Um, it is made in China and it says it right here. Um, so that is a very, very nice looking Arduino clone. So let's go ahead and put that here. Looks like we have an infrared sensor. It's got its three connections right there or an infrared, yes, an infrared sensor, PR infrared sensor. Got a few other little electronics here. Let's see what that is. We'll look at that later. Got a fan that I'm assuming goes with this little electric motor right here. Then we got our little LCD number display. And then we have our breadboard right here. Very nice breadboard. It's got the adhesive back. All right, let's go ahead and take this off. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. Let's take a look at what we got in here. So one thing I really, really like right off the bat is most Arduinos, and this isn't really a, a, a knock on other Arduinos. This is just something that this one comes with. Most Arduinos come with about maybe a one foot cable. This is a good length of cable. It looks like a six footer. And I really, really, really like that. And if you're a model railroader, that's gonna come in handy. So let's see here, we got um, the QC, the quality control, it passed. So let's see here, first of they're coming in with, we got an infrared receiver diode. We've got a rotary potenti potentiometer. Um, so that for those of you who don't know, that's a little knob that you can turn to adjust values. We've got a big old thing of jumper wire, so that can get you started with prototyping definitely right off the bat. We have a little MOSFET, um, an IRF520 MOSFET. We have an infrared transmitting tube, so you could pair that up with this receiving diode right here, and you could do some interesting programming with that. We have an, a yellow LED. Let's see here, we got uh, four yellow LEDs. We have a little micro servo. So that's gonna be good for a lot of different things. We'll probably be using that later on in some future projects. We have some little mini photo cells. We got just one right here, so that's what we used in the Arduino Streetlights project. We got a black mercury switch. Have to do a little bit of research on how I can use that in model railroading. We have a 1N4007 diode. 
This looks like a, a shift register 8-bit. So it looks kind of like an H bridge. So there's that. Y'all can tell that I'm not the best at electronics. Got a remote control for the infrared. We have four green LEDs. We have a reed switch, which is a magnetic switch. It flips switches based on uh, magnetic fields. And we have a magnet, which is holding this little tilt switch. We have a flame sensor, so if your layout has fire on it, or if you want to do something else with it. <laughs> um, we have uh, some transistors. This is an MPN 9013 transistor. We have a 9012 PNP transistor. And some 470 ohm resistor, so that's good for low resistance. And then we have some 10K ohm resistors. Then we have a three wire LED jumper, so for plugging into sockets and such. Then an RGB LED, so an LED that can change colors. A buzzer. Some red LEDs, got four of those. We have a temperature sensor, so that could be useful. We have a push switch or a button. And then we have another prototyping board that is actually a prototyping shield that can go on top of the Arduino and it's got another little breadboard inside of it as you can see. So we can actually see if we can open that up without some scissors. I'll have to get some scissors and open that up. So as you can see this ALS robot kit comes with quite a lot and can really get you off and running with Arduinos. So what we're going to do to test this kit out is we are going to load up one of the programs we've written in a past tutorial onto the Arduino and use as many parts as we can from this kit to run a prototype of that program and that setup. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to wire everything up. I'm going to link the tutorial that we're doing right up here as well as in the description below. And when we come back, we'll test it out and see what we're able to do. Okay everyone, I've built the circuit and I have loaded the program onto the Arduino, so so far it's working as advertised. Now one other thing that I discovered was they also had this tiny little breadboard that came with this prototyping shield in the package with it. So that's another thing that this kit had. So it has a big breadboard and a little tiny breadboard. Now the circuit that I have built is my Arduino block signal circuit and I will link that right up here as well as in the description below if you would like to build that. So we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna test it out. The only thing that I had to add to this kit from parts that I already have was an extra infrared sensor. It does come with an infrared sensor, but it only comes with one, which is pretty common for starter kits to only come with one infrared sensor. So I'm not gonna knock it for that. Um, overall, great kit, very easy to understand, very easy to find the parts, and very easy to build. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. We're going to plug in some power. All right, so the circuit has reset. The only differences that I've noticed is in the infrared sensor. If you have been watching my tutorials, it works a little bit differently. It increases the value of the sensor versus decreasing the value, which is how all the other infrared sensors have told you. Not really a knock, just uh, it's a difference and I had to slightly adjust the program. It's also a lot more sensitive 
than the sensors that we have been using. And I will demonstrate this. But the circuit is showing green right now, so let's go ahead and uh, give it a quick check and see how it works. We're gonna test the uh, sensor that comes with the kit first. And you can see it went to red once it had been tripped and the light came on, now the light is back off. And so now we will go over our second sensor right there and you can see that it goes to yellow and then back to green. So with the addition of one small part, I was able to build the entire prototype of the Arduino block signal circuit with parts only from this kit. So overall, I really, really, really like this kit. It prices at $59.99 and it comes with a lot for that price. And I'm gonna be using parts from this kit in future tutorials, so be on the lookout for that. This is the Arduino Design and Creation Enhanced Kit from ALS Robot. I highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. Now I have a limited time promo code for 25 people who want this kit. It's for 10% off. If you want that, you can email me at diyanddigitalrr at gmail.com. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.